There's people in the room here. Make some noise, everybody. Yeah. Woo All right, we're having fun. I was really inspired by radio as a kid. I don't know where that goes from nowadays. I had a little clock radio next to my bed. It was on like 24 hours a day and in the car or wherever else. But I just like anything with a melody to it. That's what inspires me to want to, you know, uh, write my own song within a song or find that moment, whether it's as small as like just going doo doo in when I come around, you know, <laughs> or whether it's something more uh, walking around long view or again, like one note and bang bang where I just, you know, I take my thumb and I just drop the hammer one time and that's it. bass in the first place is my ability to play very good mediocre guitar. <laughs> my first Fender bass was one that was actually purchased for me by uh, Billy Joe. He, uh, he bought me a 69 P-Burst. It was a Sunburst and it was, I love it to this day. It's a great bass um, and it just got me hooked. I've been playing these Fender bass amps for, you know, different iterations of them um, and different configurations uh, for it's gonna be like 12 years, 13 years now. I penned a great email to the heads of Fender and just said, you know, look, we, we can do something really special here with the Fender Bass Man series. There's just a few things I wanted to see in that tube preamp and in the head in general. I really wanted to see a great DI because it's so important. I want super clarity all across the board. Great low end. I like two channels, but I wanted to blend a gain in there where you could really make it gritty, you could play with it, but the, the main thing was you don't have to have a distortion pedal and lose your signal through the cable because your low end just drops out when you use a pedal most of the time. It's a working man's bass amp, you know, you can really, this line is something that you can really, um, you can be playing any type of bass and get a great sound out of it. It's, it's great, they nailed it. And that's it, that clean sound, you can hear it like uh, on Kerplunky, you really hear it on like uh, on 80. Like. Your average day for me, I mean, I'm a dad, you know, I get up, I'm awake before my whole family, take the kids to school. Kids will balance you for being a dad and a rock star. They'll, they'll humble you real quick, but they keep you young. Kids look at everything like it's the big picture. I always want to look at music, like I'm, imagine a song, like I want to do windmills to it or jump or, or what have you, and I, you know, maybe someday I won't jump as high, but I still will be giving 100% because that's all you can do. I think the hardest part about being in Green Day and being the artist I am today has probably been trying to contend with Green Day, every release that you have. But it's also the most gratifying when you put your head down and you get to work and you make it happen. That's been a while. <laughs>